morning, my sweet, sweet little angels. I hope we're having a lovely day today. I am so excited for this video. I can't even put it into words. We're doing a career work-related vlog, and I'm also going to be finally answering fully all of your questions regarding my career, my work, like how I got to this place, how I got these opportunities, and then the companies that I work for, my actual like positions, and what those positions entail, like what my responsibilities are, basically all the things you guys want to know. That's what this video is for. I'm also going to just take you along my day and we'll do like a work career oriented vlog. So I'll share with you my schedule, just kind of what my typical work day looks like. And then I'll probably share with you some of like the programs that I really like. So you can check them out if you're in my sort of career niche. Also, I recently made a LinkedIn. I'm very late to the party, I know, but I'll link it down below. I'll be sharing the work that I do, campaigns that I'm a part of, and then also like job opportunities that we're looking for at the companies that I work for, or if I'm looking for someone, Okay, let's talk my career and my positions. We'll break it all down. Okay, I have notes. So obviously like a part of my career is this whole influencing thing, YouTube, Instagram, and that's like still a big part of my paycheck every month, but I don't do it full time anymore and it's kind of becoming a hobby again, which I really, really enjoy. So that aside, I work for two different companies and I have a different position in each. So the first one is a tech startup. It's a booking app that's launching first in Slovenia and then it's going to be in Italy, Croatia, US and then we'll obviously expand to other European countries. I like to explain that it's like it's gonna be like Volt but like for booking appointments in the beauty industry so like hair appointments, nails, lashes, like all that. Also massages, like physiotherapists, nutritionists. So you choose like hairdresser and then you can scroll through all the salons um, and you can see which ones are near you. You can see their reviews their work then you can even choose a hairdresser and make an appointment so you don't have to call them you can just do it within the app which is really cool for us gen z people that are afraid of calling people <laughs> and then there's an online magazine and then later on a marketplace it's going to launch where these salons and other companies will be able to sell their products so that's the company that i work for my position within the company is a brand manager and a brand manager is a little different in the tech world than it is in other industries and it's kind of different in every company really but my work is very broad i basically oversee digital marketing so social media marketing content creation so i'm kind of organizing communicating with everyone to get these like videos photos whatever we need done so i work with like filmmakers editors and then the professionals like salons that we'll, we're filming with and then i'm the one who approves the content the second one is i have recently become the magazine editor i'm doing a trial like a one month trial right now to see if it's going to be possible for me to add this to my work schedule so we'll see within that role i basically prove articles we'll have a lot of pr articles there are also going to be ads within the magazine so i would kind of oversee all that and then obviously place articles the way i see fit and decide which articles are being promoted more that sort of a thing so that's basically my role and then i'm also involved with looking for new investors because I have some connections in that world. I also um, help bringing in new salons, but those are like secondary things on the side. If by any chance you have a salon in Slovenia, you can email me. I have, I'll have my email down below if you're interested um, and I can send you more information and you can see if, if your business salon is a good fit and then we're also gonna look for new article writers soon i'll post it on my linkedin really soon and my stories on instagram basically how to apply once i have all the information uh together and then we'll obviously choose a few of them so that is the first company that i work for and my brand manager position and then i work for another company which is a beauty retailer um and i'm not gonna say the name yet because we're working on a relaunch right now so this company has existed for a long time but it's kind of been asleep i like to call it like no one was really doing anything to make it really exciting to make it more trendy like it's kind of just stuck in the past you know so my main position is digital marketing but we're doing rebranding right now so that means 
website, logo, all the visuals, and just the vibe of the company, our copy, how we communicate everywhere on social media, website, all of that. And I love it. And I'm very involved because I have a very clear vision of what we need to do. Um, so yeah, I work with programmers, graphic designers, that sort of a thing. And then on the other side, the more analytical side, uh, we're looking at the products that we have, our best sellers, and then which ones we kind of need to say goodbye to. <laughs> Once we're obviously done with the rebranding and we're ready for the launch, my sort of position is obviously strategy, marketing strategy, and then sales offers, social media, email campaigns. We're gonna work with some influencers, so influencer marketing, and then we'll do ads soon on social media once we have the budget for that. So yeah, that is my second role and the second company I work for. I'll kind of take you guys along with me of rebranding and launching, and I'll show you guys everything and let you know when it launches. I'm so excited. Uh, there are some really, really good products and it's really cool. So it's gonna be amazing, I can't wait. I'm also working on a Notion template right now that you guys have been asking for so long. So I'm putting that on Etsy. So that's like a small little side project that I'm doing. Uh, I just like to dump a bunch of things on my plate, you know, just to keep things interesting, you know? <laughs> Alrighty, so the first thing that I do when I start work is look at my emails, DMs, Slack, all of the messages from my team just to see if anything pressing came in. And then I open up Akiflow, which is the app that I use to schedule my day. It has so many integrations and as you can see on the side, it has some labels that you can create. So each label of mine is a different area of my life. Within a label, you can just dump in all sorts of tasks that you need to do and then you can just drag them into your calendar when you're ready to complete them. So because my roles are so broad, every day is very different for me, but every single day I always have my morning yoga and then also I'm trying to create at least three Instagram stories every day. So I just have that at the top. And then I'm also vlogging today. So I put that on top of my schedule. Then the next one is schedule my day, which we're doing now. And then I'm just gonna go through the few emails that popped up. And then for Glossic, I need to look through all the videos that our filmmaker and editor has sent in for me to review. And then I need to send him feedback and notes um, and basically upload the ones that are good on our drive and then share them with the team. And I need to go on a call for that as well just to give them a general update and then i keep all of my work stuff in notion so we have like a video log and i just need to update that with all the new videos that have come in right now we're also looking for a new video cloud service where we can basically store all of our videos and share them with the team so i need to look through one that i found and see if that would be appropriate or if we need to kind of keep looking and then for my magazine editor trial i got sent a bunch of information um, that I need to basically do my job. So I'm just gonna go through all of that, read through it, make sure that I understand everything, talk to our product manager if I have any questions, and then I'll pop all of that information in Notion so it's all organized. And then the last task for Glossic is I wanna continue doing our Instagram launch campaign. And then for the beauty retailer, I need to get on a quick call because I have a question about our previous product sales. And then I also need to reach out to a graphic designer for our new logo. And that's gonna be the majority of my day. As you can see on the bottom, I have so many tasks that I might not get to if I have the time amazing i can get through those and if not i can just move them on to another day so that's pretty much my schedule and now let's get to work and start ticking these things off done approving all the videos i had to 
edit some of them because there were some minor issues um, and then three of them I had to send back for corrections and so now I have 30 approved videos that are currently uploading to our drive so these are like TikTok and Instagram reel videos we're gonna do like some really funny trendy videos there's gonna be like trendy tutorials and like useful information so this shoot we filmed with one of the best hairdressers in Slovenia so um it was more technical like tips for hair growth proper hair care like what type of hairstyles suit you um what type of hair color suit you like is rosemary oil and rosemary water just complete bullshit does it actually work stuff like that and then he also reviewed some celebrity hairstyles for example we did jennifer aniston and we found a bunch of different photos of her hairstyles and then he just reviewed which ones worked for her and which ones didn't and why it turned out really good i'm so excited for us to actually start uploading these once we launch um i'll have our tiktok right here if you're interested it's gonna be in slovene because we're launching in slovenia so we're doing you know the singing the guy who sings on tiktok and then everyone makes like funny little edits like this guy so i already have one that's done I need to get a better screenshot of our app. It obviously hasn't launched yet, so I just asked um, my team if they could send me one so I can make it like, I can actually put like an iPhone in it and it will look a little nicer. Basically have three more of those, this guy singing edits um, that I need to make. Um, and then I'm done with the videos. I just need to send them to my team and then I need to call someone in my team. But my friend just texted me if I wanna go to a cafe to work. So I might I might do that just to kind of change my day, but I'm also already hungry. It's like Not even 12. I ate breakfast Not at 9 20 9 30 I'm already hungry and the same thing happened yesterday. I don't know what's happening to me had a call just to go over a lot of different things one of which being all the videos that are not now done just like a big update um and now i need to send an email that came up and then i'm gonna leave to go work at a cafe with my friend uh i like this i think it's something cafe cafeteria something along those li lines 37 in ajos it's so nice for work everyone works in there or at least most people so um, it's a great spot, but it's often very busy and usually at this time it's impossible to find a table so I'm hoping we can snatch one. got to pet the cutest fluffiest big dog in the world and it made me so happy because I don't have a dog here and I told my boyfriend it's like a non-negotiable if I move here we're getting a dog because I just need some comfort besides 
my boyfriend here but anyway that made me so happy but i'm very hungry again still have the same leftovers from earlier and there's like it's quite a decent portion so i'm gonna have that i love leftovers so much but yeah i got some work done i met up with my friend yulia and i got a few more things done on my to-do list I took a long walk home by the sea so I got a bit of time to relax and then I need to do a few more things and then I'm done honestly my brain feels so fried I can't even think straight but I still have a few things to do so we're gonna have to push through it do you know what song I have stuck in my head right now for absolutely no reason the bad touch like, let's do it like they do it on Discovery Channel. <laughs> I'm going insane. Let me show you um, where we're at. So I went on a little work day with Yulia. And then we also signed up to Pilates for Saturday. Which I'm so excited about because we found an English reformer Pilates class. Which I've never tried reformer Pilates. I did check out the video cloud. I'm not calling it the right thing service because we need like a place where we can put all of our videos we make like 20 to 40 videos a month so there's a lot and we need to have a place where we can organize them really nicely and then share it with everyone and other teams can download it um so that one looks the best that i found there's really not that much out there like obviously there's the obvious like google drive dropbox but i'm really not a fan of either for videos so let me know if you guys have any suggestions. I also asked my sister who's in like a film academy in London. So um, she's gonna ask around and we'll see if we can find something better. But if not, this one looks really good. It has everything that we need. It's called Frame IO, if anyone's interested. I am not gonna do the launch campaign. I'm gonna move this to tomorrow and I'm, what I'm actually gonna do is break down the tasks because this is gonna be a huge task like it's probably gonna take me days lastly i'm just gonna rough edit the talking points of this video so when i'm done filming i'm gonna import everything and then um, i can do that later though i need a break <laughs> actually the next day um i rambled yesterday for like 20 minutes in this part of the video and i feel like this video is already so long so i'll try to keep this really short and concise but let me know down below if you have any more questions regarding basically how i got the career that i have now i'll just share with you the highlights and what i genuinely think got me here so the obvious is my influencer career um that's what got me through the door initially but that's not necessarily what what will keep you in the room you obviously learn how to do so many things because for the most part you're kind of like a one-man show um so that is obviously a huge bonus and a lot of companies that are looking for a digital marketer are usually looking for someone with those sorts of skills um and someone who's driven and like will do things on their own without having to be asked for every little thing because if you've had a successful creator career or if you've run a personal business whatever you've done on your own you had to keep it moving because no one else was pushing you so that's a huge huge bonus that has helped me so much in my career now but again being like a content creator doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be good at scaling someone else's business because you need to have a pretty good idea of what you're selling and how to sell someone else's product it is very different than obviously filming videos about yourself and your life so i think the traits that honestly made this possible is that i'm always like ready to learn i'm ready to take on a challenge um and push myself i've always been this way i've always been super driven and like i like to initiate things i like to keep things moving i get very bored i'm an aries and my whole chart is like air and fire so <laughs> i need to move and <laughs> i'm very efficient and i'm very quick and 
I pride myself in being like an enjoyable person to work with. I do things on time. I'm responsible with my jobs and I'm nice to people. <laughs> so simple, but honestly, it works. And I think possibly the best trait that I have when it comes to the career that I have is that I've said yes to pretty much everything. I got an idea, I wanna make prints and sell them. I did it. I decided I wanna write a poetry book. I sat down, I wrote it, I did it. I wanna try creating a course. I did it. Um, so that's just, I think, a trait that I've always had. Like I get this idea, I become obsessed with it and I want to make it happen and I'm very quick to make it happen. And that's not to say that all of those projects that I did or even positions I was able to get um, through connections mostly. Honestly, I've never signed up to a job. I don't even have a CV. It's not to say that all of that was successful or a good fit for me. A lot of it wasn't and that's why I moved on, but I learned something from every single one of those projects or positions. Um, I was able to be a creative director for a sports brand. I did social media for another sports company. I did social media marketing and influencer marketing consulting. And through doing all of that, I really got to see like what I'm genuinely good at and what my strengths are. And I'm much more selective now with what I say yes to just because it's legit not possible for me anymore to add more things to my schedule um and i think the companies that i work for and the projects that i say yes to are a really really good fit and i'm not like searching for something more exciting because i feel like what i have on my plate right now is perfect for me and i want to make the companies that i work for the best that they can be and do my part in that obviously i work with amazing teams it's not just me at all i'm not trying to make it sound like that but we are talking about my career so here we are anyway i'm gonna end this here if you have any additional questions please let me know i'll also do a little career related um q a on my story after this video goes live like the next day or two days after something like that so you have time to watch it and go over there um and you can ask me questions so Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video was very long, um, but if you're still here, I really appreciate it. Um, and I'm excited to see you in my next video. Bye.